to you, to you, brother, that, that coming out this Bible, that we speak in truth. Because it's, it's things that happen in this earth to certain people. And the Most High put these, uh, these indications to, to let you know who these people are today, in this day. Can you read it? Uh, read, read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Most High God said that these curses will come, will come over the Israelites and overtake them if they don't keep his commandments. Now let's see what some of these curses are and who these curses pertain to. Uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 46. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee and, and they shall be upon thee. He's talking about the, the same curses, right? Read that. For a sign and a wonder. Like if you, like a sign, like an indication. Like if you look at a stop sign, it's a sign to show you to stop. So this, these things are going to be on the Israelites in the last days. This is the most high God is telling us. And upon thy seed forever. So it's going to be on the Israelite seed forever. Now give me, um, give me, go back to 16 for me. Go break it down to you, bro, because I want to make sure you get the full understanding of what we're talking about. Because this is real important. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So the Most High God said these curses for not keeping his commandments, we're going to be cursed in the city, and we're going to be cursed in the field. When you look around, bro, look at the blacks. We are at the bottom. We are in the worst conditions of any other nation. And in the field, that's talking about when we used to slave, when we used to slave in them, in them cotton fields for master for white man, for the white man, the devil. This is the curses that's going to be placed on the, on the Israelites. Now give me um, verse uh, 48. It's another curse to prove to you that you are an Israelite, bro. You are, you are the son of the Most High God. You are royal. Give me that. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. You know? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So it said, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, not, not your friends. These are not our buddies, these are our enemies that we gotta serve. This, this is coming out the Most High God's mouth. The Most High God said, the blacks, we got enemies. This is out the Bible. This is what the preachers, this, this, not, this is what they not teaching. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And hunger, if you want food, you gotta, you gotta, serve, you gotta serve your enemies. You gotta go to work, you gotta work for your enemies. And in thirst, and thirst if you want, if you want some water. If, they, if you don't pay your water bill, they'll, they'll shut it off. You ain't got, you ain't got, you ain't got no water in your, in your house to take a shower, to drink. You know what I'm saying? You got to serve our enemies for that. And in nakedness. In nakedness. We don't own none of the, text, the textiles, none of these factories. Our enemies own that. Really? And in want of all things. He says, in want of all things. If you want a birth certificate, if you, if you want a, a driver's license to, to go drive back and forth to work or go somewhere, anything, we got to serve our enemies for that. We got we got we got to serve them for a social security card. Just to, we got we got an ID on us, an ID on a human being. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he go put a he put a yoke of iron on our neck until we had destroyed these. As you see around these corners, we destroy it nowadays mentally. He put them. He had, he don't need the yokes of iron no more because we kill each other now. We hate each other now because he, he destroyed us mentally now. We don't want to come back together and, and rise up as a nation. Give me uh, verse uh, 68. First 60, give me 64 first. Further proof that we are the Israelites, bro. I'm going to make sure I implant that. I'm going to sear that thing in your mind that you know who you are. According to this Bible, said so that you don't be lost no more. You know how to raise up your people. You know what to teach your kids and your sons and your, and your daughters. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. He said the, the Lord said he gonna scatter us among all people. You see the sign right here, brother? This is this is the um the transatlantic say the, the transatlantic slave trade and the sub-Saharan slave trade. He scattered us in, in all these nations. The uh the, the, they uh they shipped us out everywhere on these slave ships. From Cuba, all praise. So you the tribe of Manessa, all praise to the most high. He scattered us everywhere. Now uh keep reading that for me. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all 
people from the one end of earth even unto the other. So the one end of earth even to the other, South America, North America. We got we got people in uh in in, in uh Israel. We got we got people in uh in the Middle East. We got people in China. We everywhere, bro. We scattered everywhere through through these uh through these curses. Now give me 68. Let's let's see in the Bible what was another curses of how how we were scattered. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Give me uh, Exodus 20 and 2. So the Most High God said that he's going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. Let's, let's see what Egypt means in the Bible. Let's see what, because the Bible defines itself. Give me that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the Most High God said that he was going to bring us out of, the land of, out of the land of Egypt, which is the house of bondage. So Egypt means bondage. So let's read, that, let's read that over again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we say he's going to bring us into slavery again, brother, with ships. Thus, again, proving that this is a true book. So anybody that try to say that the Bible is, is fake, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland no more again till, till Christ come and redeem us. Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. We're going to be sold unto our enemies. We're going to be sold to them like cattle, like, 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 like a dog or something like that. They go, they go look at us like we nothing. And he said, no man shall buy us, which means no man go save us. Like Malcolm X tried, you know, Martin Luther King tried. They tried, they, 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 they rose up, and they all fell. They all fell. That's what happened to us. That's, that's a, a curse upon us. But it, it's, 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 um, it's hope, though, in this Bible. Give me uh, 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 46, bro. Because in these last days, guess what? The Most High is raising us right back up. So it's hope. It's hope to be saved out these conditions, bro. It's hope. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 47. 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. So we, we, sin, the mo we sin against the Most High. So we delivered us, he delivered us to our enemies, right? In the, oh, keep reading. So that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy, far or near. He was carried away captive in the land of our enemies, far, whether it be far, like in America, or whether it be near. We still got people scattered in Africa, too, in, uh, in, in, in places in the Middle East, which is like near Jerusalem. So whether it be far or near. Yet, if they bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives. It says, yet if we bethink ourselves. That means to remember who we are. Remember that we are royalty. We are not niggas in the streets. We shouldn't. That's that. All these brothers that you see around you, we are all kings. Right. We are all kings out here. We should not. We should. We should not act in a manner that's lower than that. That's that's uh. That's we should right. not. We should not abase ourselves to act like these other nations. We are right. kings, bro. Keep reading. And repent, and make supplications unto thee and the land of them that carry them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. So we got to repent and, and, and confess to the Most High that we broke his laws, that we did do evil to him. So he sent us among these other heathens. He sent us among these other beasts, these, these, these dirty, filthy men, all these people out here. This, we got we, we to repent and make supplication unto the Most High God. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers and city, the, the city which thou hast chosen. So we gotta, we gotta pray towards the east, towards our homeland, bro. We gotta, we gotta pray toward the east, to our homeland. Give me uh, Acts chapter three, verse 19. So bro, as we bring it out, right, it's time for us to wake up as black men and to repent and come back to his law so we can get out of this, out of this lower state that we in. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, 
when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So we we got we to gotta get this thing done, man. We got to repent right now before the Most High refresh this earth. Because you don't want to be put to death when Christ come back. You want to repent now and get right right now while you got time. While you got time, this, the Most High sent us in this, in this captivity to get right, to repent. Not to keep doing the same stuff we've been doing since we came over here. That's what got us in this lower state. We got to come back so we can get the hell out of here. Now give me um, Psalms 19 and 7. This is how we repent, bro. This is, this is uh, uh, how we repent. Psalms 19, verse 7. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the, the laws, the laws of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, bro. So once you're keeping the laws, you become perfect in the most high God's eyes. That's how that's how you that's how you can be that's how you can be converted. But we got we gotta we gotta make haste. We gotta make haste and keep and keep his commandments so we can get out of this this low estate. Give me um uh Hosea 5 and 15. That's things the most high go send send uh plagues of the most high go send plagues in our communities. These things are gonna keep happening until we repent. The book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their afflictions, they will seek me early. So more, so more brothers gonna get shot down. More sisters gonna get uh, beat up by, the, by these Asian store owners. More plagues is gonna happen in these communities until we seek the Most High God's face. That's come back. That's that's that meaning. That that means come back to the Most High God's laws and keep His commandments, bro. In these, in these, in these, uh, in these last days, I'm gonna get, get get you some laws too right now. Give me uh, uh, Leviticus 19:17. Just so you, just so you know to teach how to teach your children and what to teach them as well. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So as black men, we're not supposed to be hating each other. We we're not supposed to hate our brothers in our heart. Keep reading. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So we got we have to rebuke our neighbors and not suffer sin upon them. When you see a brother going off, you see him in sin, rebuke him. So that 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 and that uh betters our whole community. Imagine if every black man out here, when we see our brothers doing some some wicked and some evil, we corrected him. When we held him accountable, we gotta hold each, we gotta hold each other accountable, bro. That's how we that's how we grow as a community. Hey, that's right. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So don't be bearing grudges. A brother may do you wrong or whatever. But we got you got to understand that we we all been we all been lied to. We all been uh you know made to act like niggas. We all been made to act lower than what we are. So a brother may may uh, offend you in some type of way because we don't know no better. But you as a brother that you know the laws now. When you, you know you an Israelite now. We giving you some laws too. You got to make it a. a uh, point to study your, yourself, but you got to know that our, bro our brothers are in a lower state, so you got to have mercy on them. Don't, don't bear no grudge against what, what, what another man do to you. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.